Hey guys, I'm Mike Lukens. Uh, I'm a luxury travel agent. Welcome to Affluent Journeys. Uh, that's my website, affluentjourneys.com. Today I am going to do the tour on the world's largest cruise ship that you can see behind me, the uh, Oasis of the Seas. Uh, it was built in 2008 or 9 is when it uh, came out. And uh, today is actually the first time I'm going to see it today. Uh, I'm a former employee of Royal Caribbean and I've been a travel agent for many years and I've uh, sailed on Royal Caribbean about nine or ten times but this will be my first time on board the uh, the new big ones uh, so today we're gonna see all the public areas uh, we're going to uh, see hopefully some of the rooms and big suites as well uh, the rooms will be on separate videos uh, so please enjoy and uh, please like the video uh, share it to your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you haven't done so already I'd love you to go to the Affluent Journeys Facebook page uh, which is my uh, travel page and I put all my exclusive deals and promotions on there so please like the uh, Affluent Journeys Facebook page and uh, register on the website affluentjourneys.com and I uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, come along for the ride. Thanks again. When you come into the main terminal here in Port Everglades this is what you see. This is purpose built by Royal Caribbean uh, for the check-in on the Oasis and the Allure. And of course the other Royal Caribbean and celebrity ships will use this port when uh, it's not Saturday or Sunday. Alright, we're in a, uh, another Crown Loft suite on the Oasis of the Seas here and we're looking down at the uh, sports court. This is one of the neighborhoods, it's the, uh, the sports zone is what they call it. Got the sports court, the zip lines, we got two slow riders, mini putt, and we're looking down here into the boardwalk and aquaculture area that we're going to uh, see later on as well. Alrighty, enjoy. Right now I'm on deck 17. We just got done looking at the uh, loft suites, which you'll see on other videos here. And we're going all the way down here to deck 9. What we're looking at there is the central park. We'll have a closer look at that. And here we go. So this is deck 17 on the Oasis of the Seas. Uh, which is kind of where you go into the Royal Loft Suites and that type of thing. And I just wanted to show you the men's room up here. It's really nice. Look at that, huh? Nice sinks, mirrors, mosaic walls. Really cool. Alright, enjoy. We're on deck 16 now. We're going to have a look at the uh, Windjammer Marketplace, which is the main buffet. <laughs> and of course, this is a uh, expansive buffet and seating area. All sorts of stations here, so you're not standing in line all day. Of course, more seating around the sides and in the back as well. How do you enjoy? Right, this is deck 17. This is the suite lounge, which is for guests in suites, and if you're not in a suite, for Pinnacle members. I don't have a card, so I can't get in. So let's see if I can just put that through here. There we go. All right, good enough. All right, so here's another shot of the uh, main adult pool with uh, one jacuzzi at least. And uh, there's a bar down underneath there, and then the kids' pool is across the way. And we're in Port Everglades today. This is where we go out. It's a short ride out the uh, door here. It's on American Western Dam. Behind that, I believe, is the Independence of the Seas. Over there's the Princeton Dam, which is uh, on American small luxury vessel. And here's the Moss Dam as well. Alrighty. This is the uh, Deck 16 Mast Bar. And uh, we're going to have another look here. More seating areas. Okay, we have another adult pool. Yeah, okay, two more pools. Good. Glad I was wrong about that. So we got uh, two more main pools, and it looks like uh, two more jacuzzis as well. And another look down into uh, Central Park. 
Alrighty, enjoy. Alright, we're towards the front of the ship now, kind of at the forward uh, solarium area. The uh, central bar. As well. The solarium pool. Quiet area here, more seating. Reminds me kind of the uh, sanctuary on Princess, but I don't think it's adults only up here, as I see kids running around already. And it's not fully enclosed either, so if it rains, you're going to get some rain in here. And of course, private cabanas, which I'm sure they rent by the way up here as well. Alrighty, enjoy. This is the uh, Solarium Bistro here. Looks like another buffet area for healthy eating, that kind of stuff. Alright, enjoy. Alright, I'm on, uh, I believe, deck 15 now. So I'm finding more jacuzzis and pools everywhere I go. This one's an Infinity Edge. That looks really cool. Of course, they got TVs so you can watch sports. That's like the thing. And of course, we go to the main pool areas and whatnot over here. Enjoy. Alright, here's another uh, shot of the main pool areas. And of course, down here to Central Park as well. Alrighty, enjoy. This is deck 14 at the Adventure Ocean, which is the uh, kids' club area. And uh, I'm going to go all the way back in because I think there's a lot of kids here right now. Let's just have a quick walk through have the science lab here. 9 to 11 is the Voyagers age group. This is 6 to 8 Explorers. Imagination Studio here. Of course, the youngest group that they handle is the Aquanauts for ages three to five. There's nobody here now. This is another uh, cruise map that you can use. And there's 24 elevators on the Oasis, so everybody's getting on board now, trying to get where they want to go and having no trouble with the elevators at all. All right, we are now heading into the uh, Central Park area here on Oasis. And as you can see, uh, this is one of the main areas. So we're right here. You got vintages, galleries, restaurants, shopping, uh, the steakhouse is here. And this is probably the, you know, big claim to fame for the, uh, the Oasis and it's the new concept. You, know, you don't have open air from the interiors on any other cruise ships, except for the Oasis class. So we have Coach on board, we have Tiffany and Company, of course you can spend a lot of money here. If you book a uh, Central Park balcony stateroom, that's where you'll be in that area. These are Helene Bloomfield uh, sculptures. Portrait studios. And this right here is a uh, look down into the promenade and of course they can look up and get 
sunlight in there as well. There's the uh, Italian restaurant. And the promenade. And the uh, park cafe here. Walking. And they're playing bird noises in here, but they got live plants. <laughs> and here's the uh, shop's grill coming up. It's the uh, Four fee dining venue. It's the uh, main steakhouse. Uh, right here is the uh, Rising Tide Bar, which is closed, but this goes up and down several floors uh, throughout the ship. Good, I actually it's open. All right, enjoy that. Right, this is the menu at Chops Grill. Basically, I believe you still pay a head fee here to go in. You can order what you want. <coughs> and then they charge you extra if you want a couple of those items in there. Let's have a quick look. Of course, you can sit inside or outside uh, if the weather's good. Enjoy. And this is uh, 150 Central Park, which uh, I think is the most exclusive dining venue on board Oasis. I could be wrong. So they have uh, $45 tasting menus uh, or $80 royal pairings as well. So I guess you would pick the wines that would go along with what you're eating. Well, we're going to have a look inside our 150 Central Park, which is all decked out here for Christmas. And there's the uh, holiday season champagne list. I'm bringing on 275, that's not too bad. Interesting, uh, I don't know what you call this, maybe it's a canopy chair. Nice looking restaurant, though, fancy gold plates. Let's have a look at the wines here, since we're at it. Okay, of course, here's the best champagnes, the Vauclucos, the Perriers, the Doms. Uh, Fremark Abbey is an excellent uh, Cabernet out of Napa. Here. We have some uh, Puilac wines as well. Those are, of course, going to be high quality. And I see some Opus One, Camus, Joseph Phelps. That's a great wine out of Napa. Sequoia Grove. That's good. All right, so the wine list ain't bad. All right, enjoy. All right, we're looking at uh, Dazzles, which is the uh, comedy and one of the show lounges here on board. And of course, this is at the back of the ship on deck eight or nine. In fact, it's on two decks. We have a uh, second level of seating. And of course, it looks straight off the back towards the boardwalk and the aqua theater on board as well. So we'll have a look there. And that's where we're going next. Beautiful venue. Enjoy. All right, we're on deck six. We're approaching the uh, boardwalk area. It's a bit windy. Here on Oasis. Here we have a uh, doghouse here. We have the uh, 
carousel, Ben and Jerry's ice cream shop. You pay for this. Brito Art Gallery, he's a famous uh, Miami artist. His art is featured all around the world. We have an arcade in here. Uh, we've got Pinwheels, which is like the kids' uh, shop. Uh, sweets shop. Another shop here for beachwear. Johnny Rockets is now a staple on pretty much every uh, Royal Caribbean cruise ship. We have uh, Sabor, which is uh, the Taco Shack, essentially, tequila bar. Sorry about the wind. approaching the uh, aqua theater area which is where they do the uh, big diving shows and this uh, stage here is actually the pool underneath and it's 17 feet deep which is the deepest uh, pool of course on any cruise ship in the world so the aqua theater here is pretty big, and up here are the uh, aqua theater suites. Also got people waving at me. And uh, if you book the aqua theater suites, you now you have a straight view into the shows. And we've got two rock walls here on the oasis as well. Alrighty, enjoy. You can see we're on uh, deck six now. We just got out of the aqua theater and boardwalk area. Right behind me is the uh, pho photo gallery. We have the future cruise desk. And on the other end of the ship, we have the spa and the fitness center, uh, which we're going to have a look at uh, as well. Here's a quick shot of the uh, photo gallery. And we're looking uh, down into the promenade. Above us on deck seven is the uh, Central Park. Here's the uh, future cruise office. And uh, here's the schooner bar as well. Enjoy. Here's a shot of the uh, schooner bar. Everybody's on board, hanging out. There's piano for evening entertainment. All right, enjoy. All right, so we're now entering the uh, promenade. I just want to show you the uh, champagne bar really quick. It's noisy here because everyone's buying their stuff. Here's a quick look into the uh, champagne bar. Here's the uh, Ford and shopping desk here. You need to ask questions about where to shop and where to spend all your money. And here's the uh, holiday gingerbread house display. the uh, watch shop. We have uh, guest services here. So it's kind of small for a ship of this size. Here's the uh, cafe promenade here as well. You, you pay for what you eat and drink in here. You want coffee, espressos, drinks, sandwiches. Uh, they do have a Michael Kors shop in, on board. And more fine jewelry in there. Of course, it's uh, holiday time, so we're all getting set up for Christmas. So we'll the Kate Spade shop, DJ shop, Sorrento's uh, pizza parlor. I believe this is free in here. We have uh, Robin Atlas, which is kind of the uh, British pub. Book with me, uh, you'll probably be doing that on board because you'll be so happy. All right. If you want to buy uh, duty free? They have it in here. More 
shops, cosmetics, fragrances. Uh, yeah, we got Princeton Green for uh, clothing. That type of stuff. More shops. Uh, this is Boleros, which is the Latin lounge. We'll do salsa, music, and dancing here in the evenings. Already enjoy. Alright, so this is the uh, on air area where they do uh, some of the onboard production shows, like what you'll see on TV. And uh, they do comedy and that kind of stuff in here as well, other performances. And of course, uh, obligatory bar. Alrighty, enjoy. All right, we're now entering the uh, Opal Theater, which is the largest uh, show lounge probably on any cruise ship in the world. And I'm sure they do amazing entertainment on board. I think the Oasis of the Seas has Hairspray as the main show. And Royal Caribbean uh, spends big bucks to get licensing to host or to have the Broadway shows on board. So the, I think the Oasis has Hairspray, uh, the Allure of the Seas has Chicago, and the uh, Harmony of the Seas that's coming out soon will have Greece. Uh, and, and the other show, the other ships have uh, great shows as well. So this is very large. Regarding shirt excursion, you can always stop by the shirt excursion desk on deck number five. And it's on three levels here. Right here on the Royal Promenade. Essentially one, two, and three. And the great value it offers during your cruise, you can stop by any of our open bars on our bar staff service. Because they're setting it up for hairspray tonight. To assist you. Now let's talk about high-speed internet. It is incredible, folks. Yes. Alrighty, enjoy. Internet is here. All right, so this is uh, Jazz on Four, which is obviously the jazz lounge on board. Nice velour uh, seating. Kind of a smaller, intimate lounge. It's kind of warm in here now, actually, so I imagine it will get pretty hot once it starts filling up. Alrighty, enjoy. All right, this is uh, Blaze on board Oasis. And this is, uh, I believe, the main nightclub. No drinks on the dance floor. So they turn the lights down low in the evening. You know, it looks pretty cool in here. Nice bar, I like that. That's the main dance floor, huh? So on the Oasis and the new ships, it's kind of a one-story uh, my club on the uh, the Liberty the the Freedom class. It's a two-story, you know, dungeon style my club. Alrighty, enjoy. This is Comedy Live, which is another uh, comedy venue on board. Just a quick shot in here. Alrighty, enjoy. And this is Studio B, which is where they have the ice rink. So they do ice dancing shows and entertainment here. They have uh, professional ice skaters who do shows and they have entertainment in here as well. Alrighty guys, enjoy. This is Studio B, I think is the entrance to the casino area here. We're now entering uh chandelier here in the casino. Alrighty, enjoy. 
Uh, we're on deck four. This is the entrance to the Grand Restaurant, which is one of the main dining venues on board. And this appears to be a, a three-level dining room. So I think they may give it a different name depending on which level you're in. Alrighty, enjoy. I don't see a sign anywhere, but I believe this area is called the Diamond Club is another one of the dining rooms on board. Alrighty, enjoy. Alright, this is uh, Izumi, Hibachi, and Sushi. Let's have a look here at the details here. So it's a la carte menu, you pay for what you eat. A lot of cruise lines are doing that these days. Champagne lobster and yuzu wrap, that looks good. Right, let's have a quick look inside. Let's go in here. Alrighty, enjoy. Alright, this is the uh, hibachi area. Samurai warriors going on here. Alright, so right off the uh, main pool areas here. Uh, towards the back, they have the Sea Trek Explorations, which is where they sell scuba gear and they have scuba classes on board as well. So, if you want to get certified, you can do that on the Royal Caribbean. Alright, so this is the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center on board Oasis. This is the Vitality Cafe here for Healthy Eats. Hello. We're looking at the uh, salon. Alright, this is the uh, fitness bar. This is the biggest gym on any cruise ship in the world here. So we've got a ton of bikes. And we're going to see treadmills and ellipticals. Fitness consultation areas. Got Pilates machines here. Set of weight machines, free weights as well. Kinesis machines as well. Adrian, you know what? This is the uh, spinning room. Now we're inside the uh, spa area and go downstairs and see the uh, steam rooms, etc.
I see the spa here, spa entrance. Right, we're having a look at the uh, men's changing room here. So ladies, you get the inside track here on uh, what it's like to be a man. My sinks. Shower or changing area, that type of thing. Right, enjoy. All right, this is the uh, relaxation room. Looks to be a co ed area here where you're waiting for your treatments and that type of thing. All right, this is the uh, thermal suite, which is a, I believe, a pay area. We have uh, the hot beds and various showers in here as well. Rain shower, steam chamber, dry heat chamber. There's another uh, steam chamber as well. Dry heat chamber. This is the uh, Medi Spa area. Sorry, sir. Sir. Right, this is the uh, bathing suite in the spa area. Two people max, no running or jumping. And this is a uh, pay for experience. Alrighty, enjoy. Alright guys, well that's the uh, tour on board the Oasis of the Seas. Luckily I got through uh, a lot of the rooms. You'll see a lot of those videos uh, on separate videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, I got through most of the public areas. Sorry if I missed something. It's a huge cruise ship. I don't know if I can see it all in one day. Uh, but I think I got most of it. And uh, again, I do represent uh, Royal Caribbean uh, and every other major cruise line. So if you're thinking of booking the Oasis, the Allure, the Quantum, the Anthem, uh, uh, pretty much any good cruise on Royal Caribbean, I'd love to hear from you on it if you want a better deal than what you can get direct. Uh, so for that, give me a call directly, 305-851-3308, uh, or submit an inquiry via the affluentjourneys.com uh, website. Uh, thanks again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to uh, like the video, share it to your friends, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, also like the uh, Fluent Journeys uh, Facebook page, that's where I put uh, most of my uh, exclusive deals and offers and bonuses uh, as well. Alright guys, thanks again, and uh, see you soon.